Okay, I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. I uh, would like to start this press conference now. Hello, my name is Marlon Hayes. I am the Director of Civil Defense of the Northeast Sector. I will be giving a report in the short question and answer section about the current events going on on much of the eastern seaboard. We are joined today by military leaders and heads of state, and due to safety concerns, we could not have the press on hand to answer questions, but they are remote and able to forward questions to us as we can answer at the end of this meeting through the lectern. We are reporting attacks from infected individuals in much of the northern and southern states of the East Coast. This includes New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, as well as Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. Each state has a breakdown of areas that have been infected and can advise for those living in those areas. If you plan to stay in those areas, it is advised that you shelter in place for the duration of the infection. Currently, we have state and local police, sheriff, and National Guard deployed to certain areas to contain and prevent infections and are sweeping the areas to prevent any further spread. We are aware that some citizens are taking actions into their own hands and it's advised that any action be directed through the local police offices to mitigate potential hazardous encounters. Your cooperation with any government officials is both necessary and required within affected areas. We are not fully aware of the full extent of the infection at this time, nor do we have a pathogen report on how it is transmitted but we believe it is most prevalent form of transmission is close or immediate contact and can infect individuals through breaks in the skin or transfer of blood. At this time, we have no evidence that the infection is being transmitted by water, food, or other consumables that have been reported in the past, such as medication or illicit drugs. Meaning, if you can avoid the infected, you should be able to avoid transmission. If you are outside of an infected area, that does not specifically mean you will not come into contact with an infected individual. It is also so important to not harbor anyone that you believe may be infected. We understand that your goal may be to help family or friends, uh, those who are been afflicted with this illness, but any actions you take are futile. Again, there is no medication that can stop or slow the spread of the infection. And if they are allowed to devolve, they could attack and infect you or others. They are capable of killing anyone they come in contact with. Remember, if you believe you or someone you know is infected, contact emergency services immediately. They will come to you. Now, we'll have a moment here to answer some of these questions. So the first question we have is, how are infected attacking? Uh, the usual attack is physical in nature. Uh, we have not seen the use of weapons or other items, uh, usually through bites or uh, attacks with hands and mouth are the prevalent forms of attack. All right, the next one here is, are shelters being set up to house homeless or those displaced by fires? Uh, yes, we are currently in the process of setting up shelters and transportation for those who have been displaced. At the moment, they should go to hospitals and police stations for shelter. Okay, the next question is, are any supplies needed? Uh, we have determined that in the future, supplies may be necessary, but it must be handled from a government level, as citizens should not be entering the areas that are infected prior to them being cleared. So if you have something that you would like to provide, uh, give it to a local representative who could somehow forward it over to an area that has been uh, affected. What should you do if you come in contact with an affected individual? Uh, the simple response to that is flee and contact emergency services immediately. Uh, part of the situation that we're going through now uh, does help greatly if we are informed of someone who has been infected. So make sure that you contact them immediately upon any sort of interaction. Do not engage anyone for any reason that you believe to be infected. Okay, can citizens volunteer to be involved in the operation? 
yes, in some areas, volunteers are being sought to assist in capturing the infected. Do not report to areas unless told to report and contact a sheriff or police department uh, to be advised of any operations that volunteers are needed. So again, do not report to an area that you're not aware of or not supposed to be in. Uh, these areas should be clear. Is the infection spreading? Uh, currently, we believe we have contained the infection within the aforementioned areas. Uh, due to more thorough research, we were able to see a fuller extent of the infection and therefore the original infected area was expanded and we deployed forces subjectively to those areas to make sure that those new infection areas or discovered areas uh, were contained and we believe at this time that they are contained. Is the infection deadly? Although not at first, the infection will always result in the death of the host uh, at its termination. If you are infected, there is no inoculation that can save you. And that's why it's so important to seek medical attention as early as possible or to inform anyone, if you know of anyone that is infected. The results are usually high fever, uh, lethargy, uh, there will come a point when the person will just simply not be able to respond. Uh, they will not be able to communicate in any way. They will not be able to follow commands. Uh, it will be evident once you basically what we're calling right now flip the switch. So that's something that you want to keep an eye on. Make sure that you know you're aware of things. Um, a lot of people had asked if this is something that would be easily identified. Yes, it is very easy to identify, but. The thing that we see most is if you con come in contact with someone who has attacked you, that is usually the most important time to uh, really take advantage or to see the situation of where things are moving forward. Are we killing the infected? In most cases, it is impossible to capture an infected person. Uh, they are violent in nature. They attack uh indiscriminately anyone that they have uh, available to them and remember at this time any form of bite or scratch or any sort of, in, of attack of any kind that causes damage to a person may require uh, that the person themselves are, are going to become infected from that uh, so at this time we are being required to put down anyone uh, that has been shown or proven uh, to display full science. Remember that this is not something we expect citizens to take into account. Um, it is, again, if you see anyone, do not attempt to engage them. Simply call them in a, an official who will be able to follow suit and take the appropriate action. Uh, is there any validity to the statement that the infection has killed the person prior to them attacking? Uh, we don't, yeah, we don't have an answer for that at this time. So thank you for everyone's attention. Please stay tuned to your emergency broadcast uh, and continue to follow those to be up.